What's up guys, SuperGeek here. Today I'm going to tell you how you can download and install Windows 11 on your external hard drive. And why am I doing this you may ask is because I recently upgraded my Windows laptop to Windows 11 and the experience was let's just say not that great. I got a couple of BSODs and there were some essential features that are missing from Windows 11 that I really wanted Microsoft to bring back and uh, the experience was just not that great. The battery backup was bad, I got uh, death screens a couple of times in a day and uh, there was a feature where you drag files on the taskbar, that feature was gone. You cannot right click and open task manager from the taskbar, that was really annoying and the performance was really good, I must say that. The performance of the laptop, like really the gaming and everything was a tad bit better than Windows 10 but the reliability was really really bad. The battery backup was just straight up trash. Like my laptop, it's a gaming laptop and it can run for more than 4 hours with full battery in Windows 10. but. In Windows 11, it was just shrinked to under 2 hours, like that was more than 50% decrease. So yeah, that was really bad experience. And why I upgraded to Windows 11 is just to try the Windows subsystem for Android. That is a really good feature in Windows 11 that everyone want to try and I wanted to try it too. but. I had to roll back to Windows 10 and I really miss those Android apps that I can run on my laptop natively without any emulator or anything. So I thought why not install Windows 11 on an external hard drive. It won't affect my computer, my storage, my files and I can use Android apps and I can make tutorials for you guys. By the way, if you want to know how you can sideload APK files on your Windows 11 laptop. There is a video that I've done recently, uh, the link for that video is in the i button above and in the description as well. So let me tell you how you can do that. First all you have to gather the files. So first thing that you have to do is download Windows 11 of course. To download the ISO file you have to go to this link, link is in the description by the way and scroll to the bottom, select Windows 11 from here, click on download choose your language click on confirm and click on 64 bit download once you download that uh, search for rufus and download rufus portable version and there you go once you download that all you have to do is launch rufus Alright, once you launch Rufus, all you have to do is click on list USB hard drive. Once you do that, your hard drive, external hard drive will be listed here. Once you select your external hard drive, select the ISO file that you downloaded. And once you do that, select Windows to go from here and click on start. And it will ask you to install the version of Windows that you want to install. Click on anyone and click on OK. It will warn you about the data. Just click on OK again and it will start installing Windows to go on your external hard drive. So that's a really neat thing that you can do on an external hard drive and uh, it takes a lot of time so let me just fast forward this. All right, once the installation is done and you see this ready message, everything is done and all you have to do now is reboot your laptop or computer, whatever you have, and keep the external hard drive running uh, and connected to your device. And once you reboot your PC, you will be able to see two options to whether boot into Windows 11 or Windows 10. And once you boot into Windows 11, you will be able to set it up for the very first time like you do on any other device. Okay, one thing that you have to make sure is to install Windows 11 on a really good hard drive. Better to do it on an SSD based hard drive because 
The performance of Windows 11 really depends on the quality of hard drive that you're using. If you're using an old hard drive from an old computer, then the performance is going to be really laggy. So make sure to install it on a good hard drive with better read write speeds. So that's it for today guys. Hope you liked the video. Hit the like button, get subscribed and I'll see you in the next one.